Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman, president and founder of ConsumerLab.com, which has been testing all types of health products, including dietary supplements and healthy foods since 1999 and reporting that on our website at ConsumerLab.com. During the COVID pandemic, we've also turned our attention to products that people are using to help stay healthy during the pandemic. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the antigen test for COVID. This is something that was just authorized in April by the FDA for home use. So there has been no other home, home use products until now for testing uh, for COVID. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about the kind of the pros and cons of this type of test versus PCR testing. I'm gonna take a test and show you how it works and kind of share with you the caveats. Very important that you read your, for yourself the instructions that come along with this test and stay up to date on other information from the FDA and CDC regarding these types of tests. I'm sure there'll be more on the market. There'll be new information about, about their use. The reason why you might want to consider using an antigen test is really the speed. Um, if you really need to know right away uh, whether you're positive, whether you're actually uh, should be self-quarantining, self-isolating, um, this is a type of test that will help you do that. If you get a negative test on, the, on an antigen test like this, you probably will still want to go and get tested uh, with a, a PCR type test, uh, which is more accurate, um, uh, but that will require more time. It could, could take a day or two unless you can find a rapid PCR test. Um, currently, those are not available at home. When used properly, even by people who are not experienced uh, laboratory technicians, this test has been shown to correctly identify 84.6% of positive samples and correctly identify uh, over 98% of negative samples. Also important to understand when it is most likely to be accurate, and that's during a period when you have a high viral load. So if you are in contact with someone who, who has COVID, um, it can take about a week before you actually start producing large enough amounts of the virus for it to be detectable. Um, for the following week, you actually can detect uh, the virus uh, with a test like this. Using a PCR test, a type that is typically done in a laboratory, you can catch the uh, virus about a day earlier than this test and about a week after this test will no longer um, identify a positive sample. That's because this test is looking for antigen or protein that's actually on the virus from the sample in your nose. Um, you need to have a high amount for it to really work in this test. The PCR tests instead look at genetic sequences and then amplify those up uh, so even the smallest amount can be detected um, for a longer period of time. The Binax Now test costs about $24. You can get it at, a, at your local pharmacy, and it actually comes with two tests. This is just one set, but it actually comes with two sets where you'll have a test pad, um, a specimen collector, basically an, a swab, as well as a dropper bottle. Um, so you'll have two sets. If you're positive after the first test, then you should be self-isolating and contact your healthcare professional. Uh, if it's negative, you are to wait uh, at least 36 hours and repeat the test. Um, it needs to be done within three days to see if you're negative again. If you are negative again and you're not having symptoms, it's presumed that you are negative. Again, it's not as reliable as a PCR test. Uh, if you're still having symptoms, even after having two negative tests, uh, you still should contact your healthcare professional uh, and seek a, a PCR-based test. A nice thing about the antigen tests, which also holds for PCR tests, is it should be able to, to identify most of the common variants that are out there. And that's because the variants, such as the UK variant, the South African variant, um, these variants vary in terms of their spike protein um, on the virus. This test doesn't look for spike protein, it looks for the nucleocapsid protein, which doesn't vary as much, although there have been some variations in nucleocapsids as well, um, and sometimes the antigen tests won't pick those up. But for the majority of, as I say, common variants, 
the antigen tests should work. If you're concerned about how a COVID vaccine may affect the test, it shouldn't at all, because the COVID vaccines don't work in a way uh, that would create nucleocapsid uh, antigens, which is what this test is looking for. Before we go any further, keep in mind that if you get this test, you need to store it uh, in an area where it's not gonna get too cold. You certainly don't want it in freezing temperatures or too hot, uh, say above 86 degrees. Also, if, if, if it's been in a cold uh, area, um, you should let it warm up to room temperature before you use it. Also, uh, these have an expiration date on them. You'll actually see it right on the, the test packet. Um, it's about seven and a half months out from the time it was manufactured. So if you buy it, chances are you, you should have at least a few months before you need to, to use it. There have been reports of both false positive and false negative results with antigen tests. Uh, so it's critical that you follow the instructions carefully uh, and don't open any of the packaging until you're absolutely ready to take the test. Also, have a timer ready uh, set to 15 minutes because after you've actually collected the sample, put it on the test pad, uh, it will, you need to then wait 15 minutes before you read the results uh, and you shouldn't read it after 30 minutes. Finally, it's recommended that you wear clean gloves to prevent contamination of any of the materials. Okay, so I'm going to take the test now. I'm gonna put on some gloves and start. This is the card. There's a window you'll be reading it through. You don't wanna to touch anything inside the card. You wanna open it up and lay it flat. You'll wanna put six drops of the fluid from the dropper carefully into the top hole, slowly from about a half an inch above. Okay, then you want to take your swab from the stick end, up, definitely not from the swab end. And then you're going to basically rotate around the uh, inside of your uh, nostril um, for 15 seconds, making five rotations at least. Do the same in the other nostril. After you've swabbed your nose, you want to insert it into the lower hole on the card and give it three turns to the right. You then close the card by removing this adhesive. Pressing down on these double lines to seal the card. and we'll wait 15 minutes uh, to see what the results are. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and the results are in. Uh, the results are negative. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there is a top panel um, in the box. There's a control line there that had been blue. It's turned pink, showing that the test is working. Uh, and then beneath that uh, is another area um, where you would see another pink line if you were positive. In this case, it's negative. Even if there's the faintest pink line, uh, it should be considered positive. Just to have another look at this, you can see that the control is pink. It starts out being blue. It turns pink to show you that the test is working properly. However, where the sample uh, shows up, which is lower down, uh, there's no line at all, meaning it's negative. Um, if it were positive, you'd see a pink line there as well. Even the faintest pink line uh, is a positive. So with a negative result, if you're using this for serial screening purposes, you would want to uh, repeat this again uh, in about 36 to 48 hours. Uh, again, if it's positive, you should self-isolate. You should contact your, your doctor. And if it's negative, but you're still, you're having symptoms of COVID, uh, again, you should still contact your healthcare professional. Um, so this is Dr. Todd Cooperman with ConsumerLab.com. Um, if you have any questions about uh, this video, you can post them where you see it. Um, we are continually updating our information about um, everything on our site from, from COVID tests, masks, uh, and all of our standard tests of dietary supplements, healthy foods, etc. So definitely check ConsumerLab.com. Thanks for your time.